lecture outline numerical on continuous beam the numerical has follow analyze the two span continuous beam shown in figure by moment distribution method draw bending moment and shear force diagram now ab span loaded with 20 km per meter udl span is 6 meter moment of inertia 2 i BC span loaded with the point load of 80 km at a distance of 2 meter from B and 2 meter from C. Moment of inertia I. CD is overhang portion and span is 2 meter. Moment of inertia is I. At the end D, 40 km load is acting. Now about support at A. there is a fixed support at a c there are hinge support and at d the d is hanging portion now first find out fixed end moment considering each span as a separate fixed beam the fixed end moment for the various span are calculated below now first let consider a b span anti clockwise moment positive and clockwise moment negative these are the sign convention for ab span at a moment is anti clockwise and at b the moment is clockwise so the equation or formula for fixed end moment for span ab udl is there 20 km per meter so for udl the formula is wl square by 12 the putting the value w is 20 l is 6 we having 60 km meter positive for ba fixed end moment formula remain same only the sign you have to take minus 60 km meter because acting in clockwise direction at b now next is next span bc span mf bc is equal to minus mf cb at b this moment is clockwise positive and at c the moment is sorry at b moment is anti clockwise that's why positive at c moment is clockwise that's why you have to take negative sign here you have to take minus now equation is wl by 8 the load is symmetrical equation remains same for both end moment so w is 80 l is 4 so 80 into 4 divided by 8 it become 40 kN meter plus 40 here and minus 40 for c end now mcd moment at c d because of the overhang the moment will be 14 into 2 so 14 into 2 it will act in now let or cd the moment will be act or joint in clockwise sense for all the c support now we are talking for the cd so for cd it is acting in anti clockwise so moment is plus 14 into 2 this one plus 14 into 2 that means 14 into 2 that one is 80 kN meter okay. the balance moment we we for we calculate we want to calculate the total resistance moment so This moment is minus 40. Let's calculate it here. Minus 40 plus 80. We will get total resistance moment 40 kN meter. Now next is relative stiffness. So from far end is fixed from this figure. This one is a. I want to find out relative stiffness for BC member if a B is joined under consideration. far end is 
C and this one is a fix so the two stiffness is I by L if this is my joint under consideration far end is continuous this far end is continuous the relative stiffness is I by L when far end is simply supported it may be roller hinge or overhang your far end is simply supported so joint is P under consideration member is PC and its far end is simply supported relative stiffness is 3 by 4 into I by L now find out distribution factor now to find out distribution factor we have to consider internal joint so how many support or joints are there A support B support and C support three support are there intermediate joint is P so write down intermediate joint P member connected to B B A B C relative stiffness for each member now let first find out B A member so B A member six joint now for B A member far end is fixed your far end is fixed so relative stiffness is I by L so I is 2i so here you have to put 2i divided by 6 is equal to point 33i now for bc far end is continuous and overhang so relative stiffness is 3 by 4 into i by l now moment of inertia is i so 3 by 4 into i divided by span is 4 4 is equal to 0.188i Adding these two, we have the total relative stiffness 0.251i. Now find out distribution factor for each member. So relative stiffness k divided by summation of k. So 0.33i divided by 0.52i, 1i is equal to 0.639. Relate, uh, distribution factor for BC. Relative stiffness 0.1 88i divided by total relative stiffness 0.521i is equal to 0.361 now next is moment distribution table now in the first column you write down member then according to joint at the first joint as first support is A next is B joint and next one is your C joint. Now at A write down AB member. At B write down both member BA and BC. BA and BC. At C write down your CB member. CB member. Okay. Let write write down their distribution factor. So distribution factor at the internal joint 0.639 and 0.361 for BC next we next row write down fix and moment for AB 60 for BA minus 60 for BC 40 and for CB minus 40 for CB minus 40 now balance do the balancing next row balancing so at C, C is overhang portion. So at overhang portion, the moment coming from the end moment, which is coming from the hanging part, and that end moment should be equal to 80 kilonewton meter. So 40 into 2 that become 80. So this is end moment, which is going to appear at C. But due to the fixed end moment is minus 40. So you have to correct it and you are corrected or initial moment should be equal to minus 80 because this one is rotated in clockwise sense so minus 80 should be there so how to correct it now how to bring it down to minus 80 in this fixed end moment you have to add minus 40 so balance moment you have to to make it balance now to make it correct you have to add minus 40 here at the end at C so minus 40 into minus 40 we having minus 80 
Now half you have to do the carry over at far end BC. So half of minus 40 become minus 20. So minus 20 is here. Okay, at fixed end no balancing. At BA no balancing. So after doing the balancing, you have to add fixed end moment and balance moment together after doing the balancing. So 60 plus 0 it become 60 minus 60 plus 0 become minus 60 40 minus 20 become plus 20 and this become minus minus 40 in minus 40 become minus 8 okay now consider internal joint after doing the initial moment after finding the initial moment consider internal joint B now at internal joint B to maintain the equilibrium here to maintain the equilibrium what will the moment about joint B their addition should be equal to should be equal to 0 so after adding this minus 60 plus 20 we having after adding this minus we having how much minus 40 to become minus 40 so that means you have to apply the correction of plus 40 so it will give you 0 so this is corrected this correction you have to apply plus 40 ok apply the correction of plus 40 so plus 40 into 0 0.639 distribution factor we are having distribution moment 25.560 plus 40 into distribution factor BC 0 0.361 we are having distribution moment 14.440 now half you have to carry at far end AB so half you have to carry so 12.780 right on carry over moment now the far end for CB is in simply supported so no carry over no carry over and we have to maintain minus 80 at last so it will be a 0 ok so hanging portion no carry over so 0 so after doing the carry over we have to add initial moment Okay, we will get final moment so 60 plus 12.780 becomes 72.780 then minus 60 plus 25.560 we have minus 34.44 plus 20 plus 14.440 we have plus 34.44 and minus 80 plus 0 we have minus 80 so these all are the final end moment okay let me stop here. Next part will be resume in next uh, video.